it was a, the weak spot this year for us. But um, I think if we, um, you know, like I said, we had a great talent. We, we really have a great talent this year. And I don't know what happened, but uh, uh, we don't come together the way we're supposed to. And, you know, hopefully uh, the front office make the, uh, the great decision and, and, and find out what, what they're supposed to, um, you know, to make the team better for next year. And uh, hopefully, you know, make everything forget about two, 2002 season. Have you thought what didn't happen or how it didn't work? Because actually the team got off to a reasonable start, 18 mm -hmm. and 11, first place, lead on it, Braves. Right. And then it kind of just, just fell apart. Um, I wish I could just point to one thing and, you know, just uh, it was never the same thing all at once. It was just every, every couple of weeks something else would happen and uh, we were just never able to get it back together in time. This team needs an awful lot of time to to forget about 2002. We had many issues that have arisen, and it wasn't all you know field baseball issues. That we, we need we need we need to remove ourselves from this. And I think each and every one of us should value and treasure the time off to get away from it. We need that. Indeed, everyone needs it to forget about 2002, but there is a game to be played, and it will be Steve Traxel on the mound. That word sums up 2002. We'll look back at what went wrong after this. Geico Mets on Deck is brought Rose to Rose might say, if memory serves, the weather was similar back in April when the Mets kicked off this season to the weather we have today on the final day of the regular season. We welcome you back to Geico Mets on Deck. And so, beautiful day to start, beautiful day to end, but in between things, not so good for the New York Mets. We know it's been a season of failure for New York as they will wrap up this season in last place. The players look back, video-wise, too. What was expected to be a great year for the Mets turned out to be anything but... Players like Robbie Alomar, Mo Vaughn, Jeremy Burnitz, and Roger Cedeno prior to the season. The Mets entered 2002 with high expectations. No one could have predicted the type of season that would unfold. promising have deteriorated so far. One of the main culprits was the offense, as what was to be one of the most powerful Mets lineups in recent memory fizzled into one of the biggest busts in the team's history. Uh, and I just, for some reason, I mean, once a team gets momentum, then it snowballs, and it's the same thing with the negative momentum as well, and I felt like that we kind of turned the other way, and then once we started getting in the hole, um, obviously we dug it too deep, we couldn't get ourselves out of it. Good baseball players don't lose it overnight. It just doesn't happen that way, very, very rarely, and certainly when we have four, maybe five guys hitting 30 to 50 points below their career batting average, there's something more than just players tailing off a little bit. There's a mental aspect of the game, and that, uh, and that residual impact of the struggles of the team where one guy struggles and it impacts the hitters in front of him the hitters behind him and I think we saw a lot of that where it was somewhat contagious. We all know that what happened this year was, was hard and no one when the season gets over should, should forget how that felt and everybody um, we, everybody needs to realize all the things that we did to put ourselves in this situation this year cannot happen from day one of spring training. Perhaps even more.
more baffling than the team's struggles at the plate was their struggles in the field, where they accumulated over 140 errors on the season, the most in the National League. Add to that gaps on the base paths and at the plate, and it all ended up to a doomed season. It's these fundamental aspects of the game that will be a starting point when looking for a turnaround in 2003. We just didn't play well. And I think it's, a, you know, it's an oversimplification, but it's truism. It's just make the play when you have to make the play. We didn't make the play, and uh, you know, we, uh, we're better than that. We didn't make the pitch. We're better than that. We make, didn't make the hit. We're better than that. We didn't, you know, I didn't get the right guy in from the bullpen or the right pinch hitter or move the guy over to the left and move it over to the right. Just, it just didn't happen, and that's what it's all about, about playing the game. And, if there's any lessons to be learned, that's a wonderful lesson, I think, for whomever, from me and my staff, or all the players, that uh, it's not the best team that wins, it's the team that plays the best. We are big league players, and we should play fundamentals the right way. And I think this year we didn't play fundamentals, and that's one of the big parts of, of this game. To be able to win, to be able to be in a good team, you have to play fundamental baseball. So where does this Mets team go from here? With contracts that will be difficult to move, the core of the 2003 Mets should look very similar to this year's edition. A group laden with veterans, all-stars, and future Hall of Famers looking for a turnaround. We're going to uh, spend even more time than we typically do focusing on the players that are here now that are going to come back next year because we, we need to tweak that performance and tweak their mental state and confidence to get them back prepared for 2003 and, and get off to a good start. I want us to, to get out there and, and, and play together and, and do what we got to do, but get after it and, and, and go at people. Um, it's not going to work every day. It's not going to work every night. But the mindset can be there. The great teams, uh, no matter how much talent they have, there's a certain approach and a work ethic that, that is needed to keep them rising to the top. Only us can go and look ourselves in the mirror and say, this is what we didn't, didn't do right. This is what we did right, what we need to do to be able to be a better team. I don't like this. Um, I'm proud to, to, to play in New York and wear a Mets uniform. Um, I'm kind of ashamed of myself, you know, right now. Um, that, that logo we wear is, it means something. And damn it, we got to start representing the way it's got to be represented. So much promised, so little delivered. And while the emotions were true and the words heartfelt, the proof for the Mets will be in the pudding because they will return most likely intact in 2003. And that's when they'll really have to deliver.